All right, so for this question, you can use substitution to determine uh, if expressions are equivalent or not equivalent. We want to identify the expression that is not equivalent to 6 times x plus 3. So people are not good. Some people are not good with the distributive property and combining like terms. If you're not good with that, go to the safe method. Pick a value for the variable. So you can use x equals 2. You can use x equals 10, x equals 7. It doesn't matter which value you use for x. As long as you substitute it in, you can see which ones are equivalent and which ones are not. So I'm going to use x equals 10. So my original expression is right here. It says 6 times x plus 3. That's my formula. I'm going to substitute 10 in for x. So I have 6 times 10 plus 3. So everywhere that I see an x, I'm putting a 10. 6 times 10 is 60, and 60 plus 3 is 63. So I used the order operations, and I got 63. So I'm going to substitute the same value 10 into these expressions to see which one is equivalent to 63. So I'm going to start with A, and I'm going to make sure I stay organized. So this is the original. I'm going to put A right here. So this is going to be A, and I'm going to put it in blue. So the formula is 5 times X plus x plus 3. So everywhere that I see an x, I'm going to put 10. So I'm going to put 5 times 10 plus 10 plus 3. And you have to use the order of operation. So multiplication is going to come first. 5 times 10 is 50. Bring down my plus 10 and my plus 3. Then you addition and subtraction from left to right. 50 plus 10 is 60. And 60 plus 3 is 63. So I'm looking for the one that's not equivalent. This one is equivalent, so I'm going to eliminate it. Now, if you put a 1 in front of this x and combine your like terms, you can see that this is equivalent to 6 times x plus 3. But some people can't put a 1 in front of there and combine their like terms. And you will leave it at 6 times x plus 3 because they are not like terms. Like terms have to have the same variable raised to the same power. So now let's move on to see if B is not equivalent. So let's do B right here. So for B, it says 3 times the sum of 2 times x and 1. So uh, we're going to substitute 10 in for x. So I'm going to put 3 times, or 3 open parentheses, 2 times 10 plus 1. And in the order operations, is parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division from left to right, addition and subtraction from left to right. So I have to evaluate my parentheses first. So within my parentheses, I have more than one operation, so I have to follow the order operations within my parentheses. 2 times 10 is 20, and 20 plus 1 is 21. And you want to keep those parentheses. 21, and then I want to multiply that times 3. Bring my 3 down. Parentheses means multiplication. So you have to remember to keep those parentheses or put a multiplication sign. And then we have 3 times 21 left, and that's going to be 63. So since this expression, 3 times the sum of 2 times x and 1, is equivalent to 63 when x equals 10, then I and this one is equivalent to 63 when x equals 10, I know these two expressions are equivalent, meaning I cannot pick that one as they are not equivalent. So I'm going to go to my next answer choice. And let's say you are uh, you know the distributive property. You can, distribute the, you can distribute the 3 into both terms because parentheses means multiplication. 3 times 2 times x and 3 times negative 1. So 3 times 2 times x is 6 times x and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So that's equivalent to the original. However, if you're not comfortable with the distributive property, you can use substitution as stated before. All right, now let's look at option C. So option C, we're going to put C right here. C says 3 times the sum of 2 times x and 3. So we're going to substitute 10 in for x to see if we get 63, to see if they are equivalent. So I'm going to put 3, open parentheses, 2 times 10 plus 3 close parentheses. I'm going to follow my order of operations on my parentheses first, and these are terms I can evaluate. So 2 times 10 is 20, and 20 plus 3 is 23. And then I'm going to bring my 3 down, and then I have to multiply 23 
times 3, and that's going to give me 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 2 is 6. That's going to give me 69. So because 69 is not equivalent to 63, when x is substituted, when 10 is substituted in for x into both of the expressions, I know that this one is not equivalent. So I'm going to pick this one as the one that's not equivalent. Now the last one is equivalent. Well, okay, let's check the distributive property. So let's look at the distributive property. So if you are comfortable with the distributive property, you can distribute the three into both terms because remember parentheses means multiplication. So you want to multiply the three into both terms. So it would be three times two times x plus three times three. Three times two times x is six times x and three times three is nine. So you can look at this when you apply the distributive property and see that they are not equivalent because the coefficient or the coefficients are the same six, but the constants, this, this term, this expression has a constant of nine and this expression has a constant of three. So that tells you that they are not equivalent. And far as this last one, you can substitute 10 in for X. You will have 12 times 10, which is 120. And 120 plus 6 is 126. And you divide that by 2, you'll get 63. You can also divide uh, 12 times X by 2. And you'll get 6 times X. And you can divide 6 by 2 and you'll get plus three. The sign will stay the same in the middle. So yes, these are equivalent. You can use substitution. So all of these are equivalent. When x equals 10, all of these are equivalent to 63, but this one is equivalent to 69. When you apply the distributive property and combine like terms, these three are equivalent to six times x plus three. This one is equivalent to six times x plus three. This one is equivalent to six times x plus nine. So using both methods, we can see that option C is not equivalent.